What's up, YouTube? Combat here, and today I want to talk about NHL 17's newest patch. It's their third content update. Lots of new things, some Hockey Ultimate Team, some new jerseys, and some new uh, gameplay stuff. So first, we'll start with Hockey Ultimate Team, where they've added competitive seasons, uh, which is a monthly season format to earn in-game rewards. Each monthly season consists of rounds, complete three games to earn round points, which determine your ranking on the round leaderboards. At the end of each round, you'll earn a reward as well as season points that count towards your season total. So there's that. Gameplay, they tune the players uh, reacting to the puck after they've lost it, um, which is something that my players just have a tough time finding the puck when it's a loose puck. It's like, skate straight at it, you're about to get it, and then they just skate by it and don't pick it up. It's like, what? I did all that work to go across the ice to get it. Beside the point. It's beside the point. Uh, they did some user goalie updates, so they basically just increased the ability to make saves and made positioning and angles the most important thing. Um, so if you're good in positionally, that will reward you more than making like heroic saves. In EASHL, they essentially made all goalies six foot two, which is a very interesting thing, um, and just really worked on making the goalies better because. That is a big argument with ESHL, is uh, how shitty the goalies are. Players lowered hand-eye ratings for all classes in rebalance the category to see more realistic deflections and bad-ins across different player classes. I'm okay with that. Lowered shooting attributes for grinder. Basically made the grinder worse by lowering shooting and passing. Increased balance of two-way forward and hitting sniper class. I like that. Um... I think if you're a two-way forward, you're going to be able to get lower to the ground, keep the puck in your possession. I, I, I like that. Pretty good addition. Um, raise discipline of two-way dangler. Eh, whatever. Turn down puck carries reaction speed to reacquire puck after losing. Okay, that's fine. This is what matters now. Presentation. The following uniforms have been added. Add Toronto Maple Leaf Centennial Classic. Added Detroit Red Wings Centennial Classic. Added Chicago Blackhawks Winter Classic. Added St. Louis Blues were in a classic. Thank God. I love that jersey. It's so sick. Added Philadelphia Flyers Stadium sta Series uniform. Added Pittsburgh Penguins Stadium Series uniform. Added Forlunda Indians Home and Away uniforms. Added Link Open HC Home and Away uniforms. And added Bay Como Drakkar third uniforms. It's a QM and GHL team, so I just butchered something. I'm, I'm sorry to all the people that live there. I, I feel bad for you. Fun arenas have been updated. Pink's Pittsburgh Penguins Arena now named PPG Paints Arena. Side note, I want to work for a paint company that has enough money to be able to put their name on an arena. These guys are making it big. Huge. It's insane. Fun items have been updated. Fix CCM Extreme Flex Pro Blocker. That was one of my biggest complaints of this game so far is the fact that the Flex... The Extreme Flex Pro 3 blocker didn't look like it did in real life. I was very upset about that. Fix Regina Pat's medallion to correct logo. Okay. Fix Buffalo Key Bank Arena scoreboard signage. Increase the minimum rating a player needs to get a saucer lift on a regular pass. Now Playmaker Jumbo Might Playmaker Puck Moving D will only be the players with the advantage. Fix camera clipping issue in Semi Pro Arena in EASHL. Um. Essentially, they fixed some skill-based matchmaking uh, in ESHL. Anti-griefing logic was removed from private pin group matchmaking. Okay. Franchise. Fix an issue where player fighting bias was being set to zero when the league year changed from year one to year two. Be a pro. Fixed an issue where player fighting bias was being set to zero when the league changed from year one to year two. So essentially, lots of changes, some new additions with jerseys and... The most profitable paints conglomerate on, in North America gets their name on an arena in a video game. Like, you don't hear Dulux Paints Arena here in Canada. No, you don't. You don't hear about that because it doesn't exist. Because they don't make as much money as PPG, apparently. Beside the point, third content update. We're about six months into it. About five months into the game now. What do you guys think of NHL 17? Let me know with a comment down below. If you guys want to see me upload more NHL 17 content, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, 
hit the subscribe button. Until next time, guys, Combat signing off. Peace.